Quickly before we get into this video, I'd like to give a shout out to Ahead for sponsoring this video. If you guys want to pick up cheap and reliable Rocket League items on one of the most trusted sites on the internet, make sure you actually check them out. First link in the description, you can buy and sell your Rocket League items and use code Zenica at checkout for 3% off your orders. Do you guys want to be in with the chance of winning this Trigon Mystery Decal on my car right now or £20 worth of V-Bucks to spend whatever you want on Fortnite? All you've got to do is subscribe to me and Leighton, link in the description, leave a like on the video and comment your details down below. That is it. The winner will be announced in the next channel update. And guys, considering we did get this Black Halo as an add to another trade, look at the amount of profit we get for this, getting way over a tour in value. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Now today I'm bringing another Rocket League video. This is today's video. We have got episode 3 of the brand new series Go From Nothing all the way up to the Fire God Mystery Decal. So if you guys are unaware of what this series is, basically I'm going to be trading from one PCC crate and building my inventory and showing you guys as well a load of tips and tricks and eventually getting myself that Fire God Mystery Decal that just came out of the recent update. But if this is your first episode ever seeing this on the channel, make sure to click the link in the description. What that link will do is take you down to a place where you can watch every other episode so you can pretty much see where I've traded from. And if you guys do want to see another episode of this series, series on the channel in a couple days time make sure to smash that like button right now 300 likes on this video and i'll have the next episode out in just a couple of days time and if you have not already make sure to smash that subscribe button right now and turn on those post notifications so you can keep up to date with every single brand new video upload to the channel but without further ado let's get straight into this episode i hope you guys enjoy so the very first trade of this episode is basically me just getting myself a mystery decal for the electroshock i was trying to set it for a very long time and as you guys know, getting gold explosions isn't really the best because it's going down in demand a lot. Like, literally every single gold explosion has dropped so much in price. And the mystery decals sort of hover around the same price. So you're pretty much guaranteed to not lose profit if you get yourself BMDs. So pretty much I got myself a Spectre for my Electro Shock because I know Electro Shock is eventually going to go down to a point two, maybe lower than that. So getting myself, pretty much getting myself a bio because I'll eventually flip the Spectre into a bio is actually a very good deal for this Electro Shock. The next trade I find is a guy that has a Crimson Zomba and he really wants to get himself a White Mantis and I really can't complain about doing this trade because the White Mantis I was ideally looking for around a Torah and I know these Crimson Zombas are PCC, I, I just knew that before the trade because there was no way he would have done CC4. So he pretty much gave me some PCC Crimson Zombies, which are worth maybe a bio, maybe a lab, a complete push. But even so, that's still a little bit of profit because I, ideally, I wanted to get myself a Torah for this Mantis. What I just wanted to quick sell it, but even so, getting myself that profit means a very good trade. And eventually, selling the Zombies, I'll get myself a BMD. After doing that previous trade, I looked on the look of a group to see if there's any more good deals. And this guy said he had a Hellfire and he wanted f um, two PCC imports. And obviously, I only had one. I sold the one last episode, so I was like, okay, I could do one and a different, like, some different ads. He was like, sure, invite me to a game. I invited him, put in a breakout type pest, put in a CC4 and a non-crate very rare, which is sort of around four to five, and I actually managed to get myself it. So I really can't complain about doing that. Getting myself a Hellfire will eventually be a Torah, and I'm pretty much paying about four PCC. So that's an incredibly good trade there. I also found a very good trade on the look for group of finding a guy that really wants to get himself a purple halo to complete his set. So he invited me to a game, so I obviously showed him the purple halo. He put in the forest green one and obviously a boost as well, like a like pretty much one PCC because it's a non-crate import. Get myself one PCC out of that. And he said I had tiny like a couple rare decals, so I put in two rares. One of them's painted pink for the Jaeger, but obviously the painted ones do not matter unless they're certified and white. So pretty much getting myself this trade, getting myself a PCC as an ad, is actually a very good deal. And then after listing all of my items up, I found a guy that really wanted to get my orange hex phase, and I really can't complain about that, because no one wants hex phases anymore. He might obviously be collecting a Sarah, he wants it for his car, I had no idea. But he pretty much said he, could, uh, had, he literally has loads of offers for it, I can't complain about that. I invited him straight away, and he actually did put in a Cobalt line, and I said, can I have that? He was like, sure, obviously the Cobalt line is at least one PCC, because it's a non-crate import, but I could feel like I could get a little bit more. Because the whole set of lightning goes for around a 26x to a bubbly. So that's a very good trade getting rid of the hex face as it doesn't sell. And then in this next trade I do find a guy that really wants to get himself the black halo. And obviously I got that as a massive add in the last episode. Probably one of the best trades. So make sure you check that out if you haven't already. But pretty much I got myself a black halo as a load of different ads as well for my like Torah. And it was incredible the amount of stuff I got. It was probably maybe like triple, maybe quadruple profit. And even here, that is well over a Torah, which is what I was expecting because a lot of people were saying, because I've never traded with Halos, a lot of people were saying you can get a Torah out of it. But even so, that's a tiny bit more than a Torah if I sell it all individually for PCCs. I could probably get myself a Biomass or a Lab. So that's an incredibly good deal there, getting rid of the Halo. I then managed to find myself a trade for the Hellfire as I really couldn't get myself a Torah. I was offering it on a load of posts, but no one really wanted to get themselves a Hellfire. Obviously, it's a tiny bit more in the spreadsheet. And it's even dropped from 0.3 to 0.25, but no one even cares about gold explosions anymore. Like I said before, 
So eventually, I just gave in and took five non-crate very rares. Because eventually, I might be able to find a guy that really wants to get himself a trade up. Maybe get myself a tour out of it. It's a huge risk, but even so, if I can't get a Tora, I'll just stack a load of bundles and eventually get myself a big BMD. So even so, that's a win-win, maybe get myself a Tora out of these trade-ups. And eventually, I did find a buyer that really wanted to get himself the Samurai. I thought it would actually be pretty quick, but obviously the brand new updates come out. Not really that many people care about this car anymore. And eventually, I did find a guy that had a load of different stuff and he wanted to get himself one, so I was completely fine with doing that. I tried to do an offer for a Tora earlier with this guy, but he said no thank you and obviously invited me straight back to trade. Said he wanted to get the Samurai and he put in two imports, which were both cars, which is decent. And then he also added pretty much a PCC because it's a non-crate import. So that's a very good trade there, making a little bit of profit. And then once again, another buyer came around that really wanted to get himself a PCC import just to complete a trade up for him. And he put in two of the non-crate imports and one of them's actually a Painted Lightning. And like I said before, the whole set goes for around a 20xx to bubbly. So I might be able to get myself maybe a few PCCs out of each one. I'm not too sure yet. I don't really trade with lightnings that much, except for white one. The white one, you could probably get yourself a lab, maybe a bit of hex for. But even so, that's still a little bit of profit because if I sell the lightning for even two PCCs, I'm getting three out of it because I have a non crate import sales for one. So that's some insane profit right there, getting rid of the item. And then after a very long time, I find a guy that really wants to get himself my fireworks, and he has a load of different non crate stuff. And obviously, I really can't complain about that. Getting rid of a fireworks because it's worth around maybe three PCCs. So anything above that, I'll probably just take it because the fireworks is obviously. Used to be worth loads, everyone was doing like nothing, something's to it. Now it's completely dropped in price. You could probably get it for around three PCCs. But even so, getting myself four non crate very rares is obviously a little bit more than three. And then eventually, when I like stack up, I think that's what I'm going to do stack up all these non crate very rares and then eventually get myself a massive BMD for it. So, like, even so, a little bit of profit there and I'm stacking them non crate very rares. So, that is the final trade of this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy. We just made a load of different profit on this episode, making tiny profit on every single trade, which probably adds up to around a parallax. So, I'll just happily take this episode, selling a lot of stuff that's hard to sell as well, getting ourselves a load of non crate very rares and eventually getting ourselves some massive BMDs with those items. And, guys, yesterday we did hit 17,000 subscribers. So, thank you guys so much for the support we are always on that grind so getting ourselves that 20k so thank you guys so much for supporting these videos it's been absolutely incredible and for all the people wondering when the winner is going to be drawn for the giveaway it will happen on the 30th of june so the end of this month i'll be giving a winner trigon mystery decal or 20 pounds worth of ebucks completely their choice so make sure you stick around for the giveaway so yeah if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to smash that like button right now 300 likes and i'll bring a brand new episode in just a couple of days time subscribe and turn on those post notifications if you guys are new and i'll see you guys next time Let's go.